Ouch. Uh, ouch. Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. In today's video I want to do something a little bit more fun. You know lately I've been doing a lot of tutorials, a lot of vlogging, a lot of like talking about products. I want to have some fun with you and why don't make myself like a fool because uh, that is the fun. So in today's video, as you've seen from the title, we are gonna do my full face using my left hands. And let me tell you something, I don't really use this hand as much. A quick story actually, when I was younger, I used to always write with my left hand and if I do kick a football, not that I really do that much, I do use my left foot. But because I was uh, at um, Nan school, you know, I was young, and the discipline and everything, they taught me that I could only write with the right one. So I was very young and I learned to do everything with the right one, so the left is kind of like me. Don't even know what to do. So what I'm gonna do in today's video, I am going to make you laugh for sure, because I'm gonna do my full beat. And I'm also gonna use some new product that I've never tested it before, so it's kind of gonna be like a first impression as well. So why don't we just like dive in, and if you wanna see what mess comes out, so... Keep on watching. So the first things we're gonna do, we are gonna use primer, and I'm actually gonna use the Ultra Strobe Cream. I love this primer a lot, so I'm gonna literally like squirt it onto my left one and dot a little bit, and then I'm gonna like blend it with uh, my left hand, and that's it. Like normally I would do like both of them, but I guess today we're only gonna use one hand and one hand only. So let me grab my mirror and blame, blame, blame. Of course, so make as hard as possible. I'm even using like the smallest mirror I could possibly find. And yeah, so um, so far what I gotta say is that actually like using my left hands on my skin, it feels much heavier. And you kind of like, you, like you stamp yourself onto the face quite a lot. So let me put this primer real quick. Primer is done and now I'm gonna jump in directly with my foundation. So I'm gonna use the Physician Formula Nude Wear. I just done a review on this foundation and I did actually enjoy it quite a lot. And if you guys wanna check it out, I will leave it down below. So first things I do, I'm actually gonna like dot it into my skin. This is actually a very, very natural foundation and it's like super luminous. And lately I'm really feeling like a luminous foundation more than uh, like a matte one. I would still like a little bit more coverage because um, I like heavy coverage, but so far so good. And it does actually look quite nice on camera. Actually, there is a little bit more left here. Perfect, so I had a really quick change of lighting. As you guys have seen, I changed my lighting system and now use like soft boxes and I'm not really an expert on it. So if you guys have any recommendation to how to use them, please let me know because I feel now it's slightly brighter before it was very dark. So let me grab the brush that comes with it. Uh, it's like, like none of my favorite brushes. Like in general, I don't really like uh, foundation brushes because uh, I like my sponges, but why not give her a second try and see? It does feel like I'm painting on my foundation, so that is very weird. I was inspired to do this video after I actually seen uh, Sophie, uh, and it was hilarious that video, so I was just like, why do I not do something that is the same? I actually was like, I laughed at her, so I was just like, probably like somebody else was like laughing at me, oh my god, I got foundation on my brows, that's a great start. And she did say that she got inspiration from Nikki tutorials, I actually have never seen that particular video from Nikki, I used to watch her all the time, and I don't know why, lady, I kind of like um, moved a little bit out of it I don't know why you know sometimes you just like you have your moments where like you get like a beauty guru and you just like hammer and you just watch it every single video and then you kind of get out of it for a bit so I think I'm like having a face right now with uh, Nikki so I'm sorry but I still like her I think she's still like uh, eye makeup is banging so okay so the foundation is um, looking uh, very very messy oh my god what is that so I think I'm gonna try to get my sponge and blend a little bit more. Perfect, the foundation is done. It's actually well nice and blended. And now I'm gonna go with the concealer. There is like a matching concealer. Get a little bit of this product out and uh, try to like apply on. Where's my mirror? Yeah, there it is. And uh, oh my God, I'm literally stabbing my eyeballs out. I don't know why, but I can't just, I can't really get uh, like really soft, the touch is very very heavy, I don't know why. Also I found that using my left 
hands. I'm not really precise. And I don't know what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do my eyeliner on my lashes. That is going to be fun. Foundation and concealer is done and now it's time to like set and I'm gonna use my luxury powder from Revolution the banana one and I want to set my under eyes because I might go out later looking like a fool and um, You know, I just want to make sure people think that my under eye is perfect So I want to take a little bit and when I mean a little bit I mean like a lot of it and just do my under eye and this part is actually quite okay I was expecting way worse Okay, I take it back. A lot of powder actually, I don't know how it fall into my nose and it feels very, very itchy and I don't like that. So now why don't we do some uh, very natural eyebrows. You know, Carmen Mie is known for these very sparse and uh, invisible brows. So why don't we do that, right? So we're going to do the Isla uh, brow. It's the first time I'm actually using them. I have never used it before and this is actually a very cute set. It comes with the gel, it comes with the powder, and also the highlighter, and it has a dual sided brush. Alright, here we go, and let's see. Oh my god, okay. I guess we're not gonna have any snatched eyebrows today. I think whatever we got out of today is uh, going to be intense. Oh wow, well, um, am I gonna a little bit too big? But don't worry, there is concealer to clean up, right? Alright, can we fake it that this is also like a drunken channel that I'm completely wasted because this is so bad! Oh my god, please do it for yourself. If you wanna learn makeup today, stop watching. I think now we baked enough, so let me just like dust everything away and try not to poke myself in the eye and see uh, if it actually looks good you know maybe my skin is gonna look amazing and uh, maybe I'm gonna start to like keep this uh, routine with my left hands just to do my skin never know oh wow do I look so pretty um, I'm actually now gonna start to contour an highlight why not I'm feeling like a great vibe for my skin and I'm gonna use uh, this and I never used before there is this gosh contour blush highlight is in the shade 001 light it looks quite pretty it looks cute so let's see if it works so there are two shades at the bottom for contouring and I think because today we are experimenting we should just take them both why not and see what has happened and yeah so great this feels so good this is actually very very pretty I'm very liking this color like I think it's a very nice uh, bronzing and slush contouring shade because it has a little bit of a tint of orange to it so I do have to say is not the best for contouring because you want a little bit more gray but I like it because it gives like a very good summer vibe oh my god let me just slender my nose with this huge brush because you know like Today is not about looking pretty, I guess. Oh my god, I just stabbed myself in the eye. So now do I look like J-Lo because she copied my look right now. I'm gonna go in with the blush and the blush is actually quite sparkly sparkly. There is not really my favorite, but I like the feather is peachy. So I'm just gonna like a blush a little bit. And yeah, I think this is gonna be so good. Oh my god, and I just look so pretty. Uh, it's time for my eyeliner now, and I'm taking this fan brush. And I hope this eyeliner is gonna save this look because, um, yeah, I think I need it. Okay, oh, my viewfinder looks very, very natural, so I'm just gonna like pile it on like crazy. Overall, this Gosh Contour and Strobe Kit is actually very, very pretty. I think the bronzing shade, they're very cute. The blush is very sweet. Like, it just, like, it shows a little bit. It's not too heavy, though I do appreciate. I would like to be slightly more matte, but that's fine. And the eyeliner is very, very soft. So, definitely say this one is great for, like, your daytime. For nighttime, I will probably bump in in a, like, a much stronger eyeliner. But now, why don't I just uh, show you how not to do your eyeshadow? Because this is gonna be a mess. <laughs> So I guess we're gonna start with a fluffy brush and I'm gonna go in with one of the brown shades So I'm using this L'Oreal palette and let's see if this palette is gonna be good or no good And uh, especially if it's uh, me gonna make it a mess or not a mess 
Next, I'm gonna go in with a darker shade and a smaller brush, and I'm gonna keep this one on the out of edges and uh, pray that it's gonna look decent. But so far, mm, I don't really have much hope for myself. So I poked myself in the eye like 20 times and uh, it started to hurt and oh my god, then I just look fabulous. Now I'm gonna go in with the shades over here that is super pretty and it's actually my favorite one, like it's the prettiest one and I'm gonna take this one onto my eyelids and uh, call it a day, literally call it a day. Am I not just such a beauty? And now I'm gonna take the lightest one and do my trick and put it in my inner corner because that always makes everything look much prettier. And yes, let's hope this works for this as well. Oh my god, I look gorgeous! So why don't we just do eyeliner? And I'm gonna use this dual eyeliner from Revolution. It's on one side the core and the other side is filtered. So I think I'm just gonna do like the filter and uh, yeah, good luck to me. Come on wings, let me fly! Now I'm gonna do a little bit of mascara and I'm gonna use this Revolution Amazing Curve Mascara. First time I ever use it, I have no idea how this is gonna turn up, but I guess it's gonna be fabulous like the rest of my makeup today. And I'm gonna try not to stab myself in the eyes this time because uh, this is dangerous. And of course, adding a little bit of mascara onto your actual lid when you put your eyeshadow is a must because uh, you want to make sure people know that you spend money on your mascara, right? So, do that. It's great. Uh, so pretty, yes! So why don't we really stop ourselves uh, using an eye pencil? And I'm gonna use this one from uh, Urban Decay. There is a 24-7 in uh, plushy, so it's a purple one. I don't even know why I pick up this one, because I don't think it will go with this look, but I'm okay with it. I think I'm fine. Ouch. Ouch. Uh, ouch. The eyes is almost complete. Of course, we gotta put lashes on. And uh, praying Jesus that I'm not gluing my eyes together and I will never able to be open them again. Also getting an eye infection. So I'm gonna use for the first time the Isla texture number 157. And just uh, start to pray for me. In the meantime, I'm gonna try to open this. So here the lash and here's the glue and normally I would like trim the edges of the lashes but today I feel a little bit of a rebel and I don't mind because uh, I don't mind because I don't mind. Okay. Oh, okay lash. So now that the eyes are complete and you can get some good inspiration for your Saturday night, why don't we do your lips? And I'm gonna use a liquid lipstick and a dark liquid lipstick, so this is gonna be very messy. And I'm using the label in Dermy, so let's just uh, pump up our lips and make sure we do not stay on the line. If I just got lipstick on my tongue, that's disgusting. It tastes good though. And here we have it guys, the look is complete. I hope you really enjoyed it. And of course, if you are going to recreate this beauty, make sure to tag me, make sure to send me a picture of my Instagram, DM me, show me some love, tweet me, just like I wanna see uh, if you can be prettier than me because, you know, to actually top this is very, very hard. It takes years of professionalism and a left hand, like a very bad left hand. But I hope you guys have very enjoyed this video because I had so much fun recreating it. I look ridiculous and sometimes it's just fun to look ridiculous you know makeup comes off and uh, tomorrow is another day to look even more sillier so if you like me please give this video a thumbs up stay subscribe and leave me a comment down below i want to see what you guys think and if you have more challenges you want me to do you just gotta say you know i'm open to any challenges especially the one that involves food you know that i'm actually quite happy to do but anyway guys thank you so so much for watching and always remember like if you like hate if you hate and until next time you're welcome